Tybee Island's status could be improved by the Historic Preservation Commission. And they have already applied for one new National Historic District and looking uh, to receive funding for another local district. WSCV Sarah Smith spoke to the newly elected mayor about what this means for tourism. Tybee Island has history dating back to when it was incorporated in 1887. The Historic Preservation Commission here has been working for years to get historic districts established in two areas, one of them a national distinction and the other local. Tybee is uh, land bound. We can't really grow. Uh, it's very important for us to preserve what we have. Newly elected Mayor Brian West speaking on the proposed historic district on Tybee. The Strand Cottage Central Tybee Island Residential District has been in the works for a number of years. It would stretch roughly from 6th Street to 12th Street and Jones Avenue to the beach. Structures like St. Michael's Catholic Church, the fresh air home for underprivileged children and raised Tybee Cottages represent different phases of development on the islands, including the golden era. Everywhere around us is growing, you know, exponentially and we've got to figure out how to make that happen here, preserve what we have um, and still make it a, a, a great place for residents and a place that visitors want to come and see. So there's a lot to balance there uh, to make it a make it a great on. It's notable that 79% of the buildings in the proposed district are historically contributing. Mayor West says he hopes this distinction does bring more people to Tybee in the off months. I believe our tourism is good here. <laughs> we we uh, you know, we have we have big summers and, and I think most people come to see the beach, uh, but we also have a slow off season. So if we can attract people that have interest in the historic districts that want to come here off season and, and see that, then yeah, it'll definitely help. Also in the works, HPC is preparing a grant proposal for the Georgia Department of Community Affairs Historic Preservation Grant Fund. This would help them to potentially establish a local historic district within the Fort Screven National Historic District and North Campbell neighborhood. We already have the Fort Screven National Historic District, and this adds a local historic district area uh, that I, I believe is intended to give us a little more control over what can happen in that area. HPC is hopeful that the Tybee Island Residential District can be formally designated by the end of the year. As far as the local district here at Fort Screven, they can submit that proposal February 1st. Reporting on Tybee Island, Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side.